here we will see impersonation in ASP.NET. First we will see what is impersonation. Impersonation is a technique to access application resources using the identity of some other users. By default, ASP.NET executes in the security context of a restricted user account on the local machine. However, sometimes it becomes necessary to access network resources which require additional permissions. This can be done with using impersonation. ASP.NET can then execute the request using the identity of the client making the request. When using impersonation, ASP.NET applications can execute with the Windows identity of the user making the request. It is commonly used in applications that depend on Microsoft Internet Information Services to authenticate the user. By default, ASP.NET impersonation is disabled. If the impersonation is enabled for an ASP.NET application, that application runs on the context of identity whose access token IIS passes to the ASP.NET. That token can be either an authenticated user token such as token for logged in Windows user or the token that IIS provides for anonymous user. When impersonation is enabled, only your application code runs under the context of the impersonated user. The applications are compiled and configuration information is loaded using the identity of the ASP.NET process. Then the compiled application is put in the temporary ASP.NET files directory. The application identity that is being impersonated needs to have read and write access to this directory. The impersonated application identity also requires at least read access to the files in your application directory and subdirectories. You can control impersonate using the identity configuration element. As with other configuration directives, this directive applies hierarchy. A minimal configuration file to enable impersonation for an application is like this. In configuration, under system.web, set identity impersonate equal to true. You can also add support for specific names to run an application as a configurable identity as shown. Identity impersonate equal to true and username equal to the username and the password. That is you can set the username and password with impersonate. In this example, the username and password are stored in the clear text in the configuration file. To improve the security of your application, it is recommended that you restrict the access to your web.config file using the access control list that you encrypt the identity configuration element in your web.config file using protected configuration. To read the impersonated identity, following code is used. This code explains you how you can programmatically read the identity of the impersonated user. If you are using Visual Basic, Use the syntax dim username as string which is equal to system.security.principal.windowsidentity get current name. And if you are using C sharp, use following syntax string username equal to system.security.principal.windowsidentity.get current name. 